So I'm Rachel Nida, and I'm an assistant clinical professor at the University of New England College of Pharmacy. Today we are at the Interprofessional Simulation and Innovation Center at the University of New England. We are here with a few Doctor of Pharmacy students doing some simulation exercises such as the diabetic foot assessment, taking vitals such as blood pressure and pulse, and also learning to read the vitals monitors. There is a misconception that pharmacists do not need the skills to assess a patient or to interact with the patient, and that is really false. They not only need those skills to be able to assess patients and interact with patients, but they also need the skills to be able to interpret the findings that other healthcare professionals have done on their assessments. There are so many incredible benefits to having this type of technology here at our college. Some of those are that it really simulates a real life experience that the students will have once they leave our university and practice in a healthcare setting. So here they can actually learn how to interact within the walls of what feels like a healthcare facility and they'll be able to practice on simulated patients before they practice on real patients. It gives students the freedom to make mistakes and to repeat until we feel comfortable actually getting close to a patient. It gives you that time that you need to get rid of all those fears so you can build up your confidence so when you're in the real scenario you can put your best foot forward. And it gives you a real life opportunity to actually sit there and perform vitals and check pulses on someone while they're actually making eyes blink at you and talking to you. It's a great opportunity to be here and have that level of technology. This experience really gives our students an extra edge when they go out into the real world and into their careers.